Hey guys, Adrian here, and today I wanted to give you guys a tutorial, a quick how to jailbreak the iOS 4.2 software update. So if you haven't checked out the news already over at apple.com slash iOS, the iOS 4.2 software update has been released. Uh, now this is for iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. Now this is really big news, especially for the iPad users specifically. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that right now if you're on iPhone 4 or iPhone 3GS, iPhone 3G, or, or the iPod Touch, you know, for uh, fourth generation, that the update as of right now isn't really needed if you're jailbroken already. So if you have 4.1 and you're jailbroken, I'm going to go ahead and say do not update as of yet. Uh, if you're on the iPad and you really, really want to be in the bleeding edge and you want those new features uh, like I do, I'm going to go ahead and be jailbreaking my iPad today. So, um, you know, if you still want to go along with the jailbreak for your iPhone 4 or iPod Touch, you know, it's all up to you. I'm going to go ahead and wait for a better jailbreak to come out for those. It's still possible with the software uh, I'm going to be using. Some new features you'll get will be like air print, folders on the iPad, multitasking on iPad. AirPrint allows you to print from your iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad. AirPlay allows you to stream media across your Apple TV and iPad and iPhone. There's a Find My iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch feature. And along with another assortment of features, like a lot of bug fixes, um, messaging with text tones, so you can know who's texting you from using 17 different alerts, you know, you can, I guess, custom tones for, you know, different contexts. Enhanced support for, you know, you business users and enterprise users. Notes with fonts, uh, and, you know, some other keyboard and dictionary enhancements along with iTunes rentals for just 99 cents. Uh, and along with the whole game center thing coming to iPad, etc. So, if you head over to the dev team blog, this is blog.iphone-dev.org, uh, the guys that there have a big, big article that I highly suggest you read over, uh, depending on your situation, whether you want to be unlocking your uh, iPhone or iPod Touch, or, I mean, as I should say, yeah, unlocking your iPhone or iPad, if you want it to be untethered and that type of stuff. There's a lot of scenarios here. They have different updates here. So you can see here that they have the update the downloads for uh, OS 10 and Windows for the new Red Snow. 9.6 beta 3 or 9.6 beta 3 but they specifically talk about some situations here like if you are an unlocker you probably want to just stay where you are and if this is really if you just want to be at the bleeding edge because there's going to be some bugs uh, from the get-go when you're jailbreaking 4.2 just because Cydia isn't fully ready for the 4.2 update the 4.2 update hasn't pushed out for Cydia yet so some bundles may be broken in Cydia right now so you're gonna have to kind of sit tight and wait um, you know until they fix some of those things but you can jailbreak the 4.2 so you're gonna want to go ahead and install whatever version you want here for your uh, what do you call that update and obviously you're gonna want to go to iTunes oh, whoops wrong tab here sorry uh, oh, this is a dev team here I'm dragging in my iTunes right now and you probably uh, wanna what do you call that what do you, uh, go over to iTunes and click on your iPad and check for update and as you can see I'm gonna be hit go ahead and be back in mine up right now so uh, you can go ahead and do that the same if you want to what do you call that back up all your uh, your songs or your apps that are on your iPad you can go ahead and do that so uh, that's the number one thing first I'm gonna say and obviously you want to get that 4.2 firmware and then after you have backed up you probably if you wanna if you have anything that's like Insidia that you might want to back up like I don't know if you have any apps that you've downloaded from Cydia or stuff like that you can back those up with some apps like apt that or apt there's like package uh, what do you call that package backup stuff like that with Insidia just search up backup in the Cydia repository before you jailbreak and you know try and back up what you need to back up using their apps alright so after you've done that you're gonna go ahead and extract the red snow folder that is in your downloads folder and you're going to go to browse and you're going to want to look for this firmware right here for your iPad. Now this may be different for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Basically you go to my computer, you go to C drive and you're going to want to have to go to users and then go to your your, your username, go to app data. App data is only going to show up if you enable hidden folders and if you don't know how to do that you simply open up any Windows Explorer so I'm going to open up documents here and let me drag this over go to view or I guess you would I guess it's a little different because you ended you know if you're on Windows 7 depends uh, so I guess let me see here how do you do it in here I think you go to organize properties 
And then, oh no, so, okay, hang on. This is a little different, hang on, let me double check here. All right, organize, folder and search options, I think, yeah. So you wanna click folder and search options, view, and just check this thing that says show hidden files and folders, hit apply and hit okay. All right, um, now going back to the whole red snow thing, let me just open that up here with the alt tab menu. Let me find out where red snow is. Red snow. Uh, oh wait, it's still not popping up. Where do you go? Oh, here it is. Uh, you want to go to app data. You want to click roaming. You want to click Apple computer, and go to iTunes. Now here's where all your software updates are from. So if you're on your iPhone, you click the iPhone software updates. You navigate to the 4.2 firmware. If you're on iPod Touch, same thing. Or if you're on the iPad, like I'll be doing today, you just click this firmware, you double check it. It'll say processing firmware. Just let it sit tight. Let's wait a couple seconds. And it should say, yeah, IPSW successfully identified. You're gonna go ahead and then after that hit next and you wanna go through, it's gonna patch the kernel and you just wanna let it do its thing and you're gonna want it to let it run through and uh, do all these things that you uh, wanna install custom bundle, which will actually, for as of right now, custom bundle is gonna actually fix some problems with Insidia because Insidia will be missing some repositories. So uh, you can actually, uh, what do you call that, make your own compiler, own repositories. Now this is a little bit more advanced. Like I said, this is only for your users who really wanna be in the bleeding edge of that jailbreak. Uh, you can go ahead and compress a tar.gz file. Uh, and you can read more about that in this article. Like I said, I really suggest you read this article before you do any jailbreaking. So I'm going to get back to you after my iPad is done backing up and I can get to the jailbreak. All right, guys. So I downloaded this SSH bundle that they allow you to download from the blog that I dash iPhone dot dev. Uh, and uh, you can use that or you can install just the basic Cydia because you have two options here. You can install Cydia or install the custom bundle. I'm going to go ahead and take the install custom bundle route because I think it's a little easier and they already uh, integrate most of this for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and follow this instructions here. Actually, I'm going to hit back because this happened a little bit I, this is a little bit slow. So uh, what you're going to do here is as soon as you hit next, you want to have your iPad or iPhone ready. Now, I'm not actually going to open uh, a separate window because you've seen this many times on how to do this. I really don't need to show you the iPad itself. Uh, simply, it's going to tell you a list of instructions that you can pretty much follow on your own. So what you want to do is hit next and hold down the power button in the corner for three seconds. And then without releasing the power button, you start to hold the home button down as well. Uh, and you do this for a little bit and your iPad mm -hmm. or iPhone should automatically turn off and start restarting. And then without releasing the home button, you release the power button, but keep your finger down on the home button for another good 20 seconds. It has a little counter here mm -hmm. and you can always hit back if you mess up to follow the steps. And you should get a little like an installing driver on the bottom left of Windows or something like that. And then it's going to say waiting for iPad. As, you, as soon as you see this, you can just let go of the home button and it's exploiting. And then iTunes is going to say that it's detecting an iPad or iPhone in recovery. Uh, you just let it hit OK and then you just wait. And then you just say, wait for this and it just says, please wait while your device is being processed. And I'll be expo exploiting it with Lime Rain because that's the engine it's using for the exploit. And after that, um, you should be just about jailbroken. So, like I said, a little bit of an advanced tutorial for you guys just because uh, this is our early, early, early 4.2 jailbreak. It's for you guys who really want to be on the bleeding edge. Uh, but yeah, so highly recommend you check it out if you're into the whole jailbreaking scenario and you want to be kind of, uh, you know, what do you call that? Uh, how should I say? Be early on the jailbreak. Do check this out and try it out. But uh, my iPad here is now restarted, and I'm going to go ahead and slide to unlock here. So, And simple enough, there is uh, Cydia, or Cydia is, uh, should be on your, uh, if you install the, what do you call that? The, uh, what do you call it, how should I say, the custom bundle. You're going to also, I think, have to uh, install Cydia here, so let me check. My mistake, guys. So you actually want to use the install Cydia button. As I, uh, I mentioned earlier, how there's an install Cydia and install custom bundle. That SSH bundle is for some basic apt uh, repositories and stuff like that. Uh, it gives you like open SSH and that type of stuff. Uh, you actually want to install the actual Cydia first. So before you install custom bundles, check install Cydia 
uh, go ahead and do that and then it will actually jailbreak it and then you'll get the rest of this process takes place in your device. I'll say that the 4.2 jailbreak is only currently tethered. This means in order to use any jailbroken programs you must use the just boot tethered right now. So uh, options, so anytime you open Red Snow, if you want to use your jailbroken apps, you're going to have to just boot tethered as of right now. You have to wait for the official update from Cydia for the 4.2. But that is it. Uh, that should be it. You're jailbroken and uh, you're good to go. And my, uh, and you, you'll get like a little confirmation on your iPad or iPhone. You'll see like a little text running along the screen as it's jailbreaking. And then it'll reboot and it'll be in a uh, jailbroken state. All right, guys, hope that helped you out. Sorry, it is a little bit of an advanced topic in jailbreaking. This is a little bit different than your usual jailbreaks since it's so early on. So uh, do check it out. Uh, hope you enjoy, and uh, thanks for watching.